There will be pundits and politicians and special interest lobbyists publicly warning of a tyrann tyrannical all-out assault on liberty. Alex Jones here for Infowars.com with a special report. Most people that watch television or even YouTube know that last Monday I debated Piers Morgan and got in his face and said, look, you're coming for our guns to enslave us. America is becoming a police state tyranny. Back off. Hitler took the guns. Stalin took the guns. Mao took the guns. Fidel okay. Castro took the guns. Hugo Chavez took the guns. Okay. And I'm here to tell you, 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. Doesn't matter how many lemmings you get out there on the street begging for them to have their guns taken. We will not relinquish them. Do you understand? Two days later, Ron Paul came on my show, outgoing congressman, and he agreed. He said if they come for the guns, it's going to cause a civil war, 1776, part two. Will you turn in your semi-autos? Well, uh, I might not even have anything to turn in for, uh, for that purpose, but uh, I don't think the American people will. I've always assumed that the line in the sand may well be drawn. Uh, if the federal agent marches in uh, unannounced and they say, well, give me your gun and give me your gold, I don't think uh, they'll, we'll do that, uh, you know, <laughs> calmly. I think the American people uh, will highly resent it and uh, resist. Now, as soon as I got off Piers Morgan, the White House released a press release and said they were watching and responded to our petition, your petition, to deport Piers Morgan for engaging in political subterfuge and trying to overthrow our Bill of Rights and Constitution. So we know they were watching. It became the biggest story in the country and the biggest story on Twitter for two days straight. It's had like 15 million views online on YouTube alone. So we know the White House is watching. We also know that it's come out in Homeland Security documents that myself and Matt Drudge have been uh, basically investigated and surveilled and are in secret documents uh, concerning the TSA because we've been covering their out of control violations of the Fourth Amendment and conditioning the public to basically be slaves. But then today, I'm watching his speech while I'm live on the radio playing it, and he talks about these pundits out there who just want to make money. And they say that, uh, you know, we're tyrants who want to enslave you. This will be difficult. There will be pundits and politicians and special interest lobbyists publicly warning of a tyr tyrannical all-out assault on liberty. Not because that's true but because they want to gin up fear or higher ratings or revenue for themselves. And behind the scenes, they'll do everything they can to block any common sense reform and make sure nothing changes whatsoever. The only way we will be able to change is if their audience, their constituents, their membership says this time must be different. It was incredible. He was clearly going after pundits, talk radio host, chief among them myself. And it's just really bizarre. I mean, I've had the White House respond to us before on their plans to shut down coal power plants and a few other issues, but this is one of his big initiatives to disarm us. And he said in the past he wanted to disarm us as a state senator. Then as candidate Obama in 2008, he said, I'll never try to take your guns. That is a conspiracy theory. And so now he's back with 23 executive orders and all the rest of it. Diane Feinstein's on record, Mr. and Mrs. America, get ready, we're coming for your guns. And now, out of all these people out there, he's having to respond to me. And why is that? Because I tell it like it is, and we have tens of millions of viewers and readers and people that listen to the radio show. It's over 15 million a week. And their entire paper tiger facade corporate media the top shows on MSNBC have a million, CNN a half a million. Piers Morgan's ratings doubled all week after I was on. And it's not that I'm something special, it's that people are sick of these establishment mouthpieces reading off teleprompters. So the good news is we're having an effect, they're having to respond. Now again, you just saw that clip of the president where he's saying these pundits and others, he's going after people implying we're crazy to say that tyrants want our guns. All of our founding fathers said that. Federal court rulings have stated that. We have a Second Amendment to protect ourselves from street thugs and government. That's on record, but they're trying to act like that's crazy. <laughs> In 
In closing, we know that Obama is deceptive. We know he's lied about everything across the board. I mean, he told poor people he wouldn't raise their taxes, and that's who they targeted. And I can make a firm pledge under my plan, no family making less than $250,000 a year will see any form of tax increase. Not your income tax, not your payroll tax, not your capital gains taxes, not any of your taxes. Almost all poor folks got payroll tax increases. It is so cold-blooded. And every day now, Fox Sports says you're in the clan if you own a gun. Uh, the NRA are enablers of mass murderers. This rhetoric is what the Soviets did to people they were invading. This rhetoric is what Hitler did to the Jews. This rhetoric is what lets us know that they are using Homeland Security in a new war against the Second Amendment. And to confirm that, I saw a clip today, and we're going to play a short excerpt of it, the full thing is even more amazing, of Bob Schaefer on CBS saying, look, presidents beat Hitler, no, people like my grandfathers did, uh, and presidents you know, got civil rights, and presidents did all this, we can get restrictions on guns, we can beat the gun lobby. And he means the Second Amendment and the American people. These are all elitists with bodyguards that live in gated communities. The fact that even Bob Schaefer, Mr. CBS, is now saying we can beat, the president can beat the gun lobby and, and implies we're like Hitler, just is incredible. Here's a clip of that. Uh, surely finding Osama bin Laden, surely passing civil rights legislation as Lyndon Johnson was able to do and before that, surely defeating the Nazis uh, was a much more formidable task than taking on the gun lobby. Uh, this is a turning point uh, in this country, and uh, the president is going to have to do more than just make a speech about it. This is one of the best speeches I've ever heard him deliver. He's going to have to get his hands dirty. He's going to have to get in there and, and work this problem until he gets it done. And again, this just happened today. Every channel I tune into of basically state-run media, they're talking about this. Then I saw a clip, and we'll play a piece of that, of Mika Brzezinski, whose dad brags that he helped put Pol Pot in, who killed three million people. I mean, a total technocratic tyrant who promotes slavery worldwide. This monstrous woman uh, with the so-called conservative uh, Scarborough is on there, and they play the NRA commercial that points out that President Obama, but also people like uh, Gregory on NBC and others have armed guards at these government uh, protected private schools and that taxpayers in many cases are paying for it and that it's hypocritical that everybody, even poor people, deserves to protect themselves and that overall gun crime is going down because there's more guns out there in the hands of good guys. Are the president's kids more important than yours? Then why is he skeptical about putting armed security in our schools when his kids are protected by armed guards at their school? That's a real ad. Yeah. That, my friends, is political pornography. That's one of the grossest things I've ever seen in my say. life. Yeah. Joe, um, what, what, what's, wrong, what's wrong with these people, Mika? Putting out an ad? Talking about the president's daughters? They are out of step, out of the mainstream, totally out of sync with what's going on in our society. And quite frankly, after seeing that, I think some of the people who run that thing are sick. And Scarborough takes his glasses off. Just, I've never seen anything this insane. And the other guy says, this is, this is pornography. On and on and on. They act like it's preposterous. And whoa, the NRA blew it on this one because they're scared to death of this. Remember when the NRA pointed out that Israel armed their teachers because of mass shootings happening by terrorists and that it totally stopped? That's a well-known fact. But they came out and said it didn't exist and said, ooh, NRA got it. Whoa. Israel even came out and said they were wrong. Those aren't mass shooters. Those are terrorists. <laughs> because of the hypocrisy of government elitist, rich elitist with their bodyguards, Dianne Feinstein with her concealed carry and her bodyguards, if that ever comes out, their debate is over. 
if we ever make the Second Amendment about what it really stands for, populist power, not the government armed to the teeth with 1.6 billion bullets and predators and drones and checkpoints and militarized police, but us armed to protect ourselves, our families from thugs and corrupt governments. As Thomas Jefferson said, you won't need the Second Amendment until they try to take it. As, as George Washington said, number one liberty is the right to defend yourself, the Second Amendment. Our country was born out of this. And they try to get up there and, as bad actors, i am just never seen anything that's discrediting. I mean, I'm ashamed to be an American, she said. Well, you're not an American. You're a globalist scum. You're a would-be dictator. You're a thug. You're an authoritarian pig like your degenerate technocratic father. And you're up there with the disgraced congressman, you know, who basically had to step down after a dead body was found in his office. I mean, you know, you guys are a sick joke. And the NRA needs to make more ads pointing out that all these Hollywood people have bodyguards, like Michael Moore, and that his bodyguards get arrested with guns at the airport. Uh, they need to point all of this out, and that Feinstein and Schumer and uh, Pelosi all have bodyguards, not just the president. The White House has put out a statement saying, how dare you put out a repugnant and cowardly report about my children. Well, the report was your children are protected by armed force. Our children should be as well. The truth is the authors of gun control against the public have always been tyrants. It's not gun owners who are Ku Klux Klan. It was the Ku Klux Klan that got laws passed at the end of the Civil War to disarm blacks because they wanted to be able to abuse them. You people are tyrants. And I see this as a badge of honor that the White House clearly is responding to the fact that I'm getting in their face. The corporate traitor media, the collaborator media, the tyrant promoting media said that I discredited gun owners by getting in his face and going, this is about slavery and you will not pass, you will not get this done. Go back to Red Coat, England. Go back to where they've taken all the guns. Go back to where you fled justice. I'm so glad I did that because that's what they're scared of. They haven't invited me back on their big shows. They've run a nightline hit piece on me last night because they know the sleeping giant is rising. You are the Paul Revere. I am the Paul Revere. You are the resistance. I am the resistance. Get out there and point out it's a bunch of foreign banks looting our country, bankrupting our nation, and bringing in world government. They've disarmed the entire planet and everywhere they do, they then take the money, the property, and even people's lives. It is a badge of honor and shows our success and that our operation is, is, is hitting them where it hurts. That we're taking these dragons down because we're focusing on the fact that they want to take our guns to enslave us. Government's arming against us while wanting our guns. It's about a balance of power, a separation of power, and I am very proud that the would-be tyrant Barack Hussein Obama has responded to us and that our citizens petition and our citizens uh, filing of articles of impeachment has now gone mega viral. It is a badge of honor we're getting death threats and denial of service attacks and hack attacks. It is a badge of honor because it means that we're following in the footsteps of Paul Revere, Thomas Jefferson and George Washington. We can defeat these tyrants if we recognize what's staring in our face again. If you are watching this transmission, you are the 21st century version of Paul Revere. Ride and ride hard from every mountain and every valley, from the low places and the high, that the tyrants are here and the time to take our republic back has now come.